They told us the Greeks invented trigonometry, but what if they didn't? What if a cracked clay tablet, buried in the dirt of ancient Babylon nearly 4,000 years ago, was hiding the truth all along? Because when artificial intelligence finally decoded it, scientists realized something impossible. The Babylonians had already mastered advanced trigonometry a thousand years before Pythagoras was even born. This isn't just a story about numbers. It's a story about how modern AI uncovered the forgotten brilliance of the world's first mathematicians. For over a century, a small, unremarkable clay tablet sat quietly in a museum drawer at Columbia University. It was known as Plimpton 322. Just four columns of numbers scratched into clay, so ordinary looking that most people who walked past it never gave it a second glance. But behind those faded wedge-shaped marks lay one of the greatest mathematical mysteries ever written. For decades, scholars debated what it was. Some said it was a merchant's logbook, others said a teaching aid. But nobody could explain why the numbers were arranged the way they were, why they followed a pattern that seemed both too structured and too strange. That is, until AI stepped in. When researchers finally ran those numbers through a pattern-recognizing neural network, everything changed. The machine saw something humans had missed for generations. It wasn't a list. It was a trigonometric table written around 1800 BCE, making it the oldest known scientific document on Earth. Now, here's the challenge. The Babylonians didn't use the math we use today. They didn't count in tens like we do. They used base 60, a system we call sexagesimal. It sounds weird, but you use it every single day. There are 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 360 degrees in a circle. That's Babylonian math still running your life. But for historians trying to decode their tablets, this system was a nightmare. Each symbol could represent a number, a fraction, or even a placeholder. No zeros, no decimals, no commas, just wedges pressed into clay. So when researchers looked at Plimpton 322, it didn't make any sense. The numbers didn't fit accounting trade or astronomy. But they did follow a repeating pattern, a pattern too precise to be an accident. It was almost like someone had built an early version of Excel on a piece of clay. The problem was, no one knew what that spreadsheet was for. Until AI read between the lines, literally. To understand how this could even exist, we need to step into the world that created it. Picture the city of Larsa, southern Mesopotamia, around 3,700 years ago. The air is hot and heavy with dust. Towering ziggurats, massive temples built in steps, rise above the desert. At their feet, scribes and students sit cross-legged, pressing reeds into soft clay. Babylon was a civilization obsessed with order. They tracked stars to predict floods. They used math to divide farmland and build irrigation canals that fed entire cities. Every part of their world was ruled by numbers. And that's what makes Plimpton 322 so remarkable. It wasn't created by chance. It was crafted by someone deeply trained in Babylonian mathematics, using a system of numbers that could do things even modern systems struggle with. The story of how we found it is just as strange. In the early 1900s, an American archaeologist named Edgar Banks who actually inspired the fictional Indiana Jones, was digging in the ruins of ancient cities near modern-day Iraq. Among the thousands of clay fragments he collected was a small tablet, cracked at the edges and covered in cuneiform. He sold it to a collector named George Plimpton, who later donated it to Columbia University. For decades, it sat in a drawer, labeled simply Mathematical Tablet. In the 1940s, historians began to notice something odd. The numbers seemed to relate to geometry, not trade or accounting. But without modern tools, they couldn't prove it. The patterns were too complex. It took almost a hundred years and the power of artificial intelligence to finally see what human eyes never could. Here's where technology meets history. Modern researchers fed the tablet's data into a machine learning model trained to identify mathematical relationships. The AI quickly spotted something breathtaking the numbers followed the ratios of Pythagorean triples, like 3, 4, 5, or 5, 12, 13. That's the math behind every right-angled triangle. 
except this tablet was written a thousand years before Pythagoras existed. AI also discovered that each row of numbers represented a different triangle, sorted by slope, from steepest to shallowest. That means Plimpton 322 wasn't random. It was a systematic trigonometric table designed for practical use. But here's the twist. Babylonian trigonometry didn't rely on angles like ours. They didn't need sines, cosines, or tangents. They used pure ratios, side lengths compared directly, giving perfectly accurate results without rounding errors. AI simulations later confirmed that the Babylonian method was more precise than modern Greek trigonometry in some cases. Let that sink in. Three, seven hundred years ago, someone sitting under a torchlight carved math more efficient than what we teach in school today. So what did they use it for? That's the part that still sparks debate. Some say it was a teacher's guide, used to train scribes in calculating right angles. Others think it was a blueprint tool for architects, helping them design massive temples and canals with perfect geometry. And then there's a more cosmic theory. AI found that similar numerical sequences appear on Babylonian astronomical tablets, used to track the motion of Venus and Jupiter. That means this tablet might have been used to calculate not only buildings on Earth, but the movement of planets in the heavens. It's a humbling thought that the world's oldest scientific table could have helped ancient astronomers study Thesky long before telescopes even existed. But here's where things get wild. AI didn't just translate the tablet, it rebuilt it. Half of Plimpton 322 was missing, cracked, or unreadable. So researchers used machine learning to predict the missing numbers based on the patterns that remained. The AI model generated a probable reconstruction with 94% accuracy, filling in the gaps where human guesswork had failed for decades. When they checked the restored version, the missing data fit perfectly into the original system. That confirmed once and for all, Plimpton 322 wasn't an accident or a coincidence. It was designed with intention, a mathematical masterpiece built with precision that defied time. And that's just one example of Babylon's genius. Their scholars calculated square roots, solved quadratic equations, and even created early forms of algebra. They built cities aligned to the stars, temples whose corners matched cardinal directions, and irrigation networks that ran for miles with millimeter-level precision. AI's analysis of Plimpton 322 now suggests that they had an entire school of geometry centuries before the Greeks. A lost branch of mathematics, logical, consistent, and astonishingly advanced, that modern historians are only beginning to rediscover. When modern scientists ran today's trigonometric equations using the Babylonian system, the results were flawless. The AI confirmed it. Plimpton 322 works perfectly as a trigonometric calculator. The ratios align exactly with modern geometry. The realization hit everyone like lightning. This tablet had rewritten the history of mathematics. The Babylonians didn't just understand geometry. They had built the first ever trigonometric framework. And they did it with clay and reeds, not chalk and compasses. It's one of those rare moments in history where ancient genius and modern technology shake hands across time. So what does this discovery really mean? It means human intelligence isn't a straight line. It's a circle. What we call modern innovation is often the rediscovery of something our ancestors already knew, written in a different language. AI didn't just translate a tablet. It resurrected a lost way of thinking. A reminder that knowledge can survive in the most unexpected places. Plimpton 322 shows that the foundations of science were laid thousands of years earlier than we ever believed. Every time you check your GPS, look at a clock, or measure an angle, you're still using fragments of Babylonian math. Their ideas never died. They just evolved, hidden inside the systems we take for granted. And maybe that's the most powerful part of this story. AI and ancient humanity aren't opposites, they're connected. Both are tools created by the same driving force, curiosity. It's the same spark that pushed a Babylonian scribe to carve patterns into clay, and the same spark that drove modern engineers to build machines capable of reading them again. Time moves on, empires rise and fall, but that spark, the hunger to understand, never fades. Subscribe for more mind-blowing stories where ancient genius meets modern tech.